What's up, guys? Welcome back to Alan, your hero, and I'm going to be talking about uh, the dream of two past lives I had. All right, so first, basically, this is what happened. I was a white—I was a white girl, and I lived in a house that was like on a highway, and there wasn't there wasn't much houses there. So some guy walks in, and I had, I had black hair, and I had. Uh, I guess I had green eyes. Uh, yeah. And I was like pale white. So. So I let this. I don't know. I let this guy in to use a phone or something. And I guess I didn't have a cell phone at this time. So that's okay. Uh, and he needed to use a phone to call someone. I let him in. And then I guess he tries. To, I guess he. Rapes me and kills me as a white girl. Um, that's how I died, as as the white girl. But before that, I had went before that day, before that you know, before that that night that happened. What I ended up doing was I went to a mall as this white girl with the black hair and everything, and I kept seeing this black family, and I saw that there was. A black woman and a black guy, a black man, and they had two children. Okay? Now, and the weird thing is that I saw that they had two children, but I didn't, I, I kept seeing them. Like, I went to the mall, and everywhere I turned, I would see them. I'd go to the bathroom, I'd come out the bathroom, I'd see them. Now, in my head, as this white woman, I somehow knew that either two things I knew that I was somehow I somehow knew them or I was going to be with them okay now that's what I that's the, the thoughts that I ended up getting as this white girl okay so went back home blah 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 you know the rest of the story Guy knocks on the door, his car broke down, he needs to use a phone to get in contact with somebody who can help him, uh, you know, with this car. He goes and freaking rapes me and kills me as this, uh, with a knife, actually, freaking stabs me in the neck. And I died, and I guess, as my body was leaving, I continued to see him, like, raping and having sex with this, me as a white girl and her dead body. He's basically having sex with a dead body, but I was, okay. So then what I saw was a blue orb. So I became a blue orb. I came out of the white girl's body. I went up and up and up, okay. Now, as I was doing this, I remember saying, I don't want to be reincarnated. I said, I don't want to come back. I don't want to be reincarnated. I don't want to come back. I kept saying that, right? I remember saying that. And... As I went up, okay, I went up out of the earth, okay, and then it was like, it was like I got to the center of the Milky Way galaxy, right? What happened is I was in the center of this Milky Way galaxy, and it's all turning around me. All of a sudden, I think of a, I think of a, a planet and a people I want to be. I say, I want to be on a happy planet. I want to be with happy people. Okay? Now, people means... Hold on. <laughs> now, people, when I was talking, meant people of the inhabitants of whatever that planet is. If they are happy, that's where I want to go. So, my blue orb shot forward like boom. And I ended up... I, now, here's the weird part. I don't remember being born... At this new planet. Okay, so... I went to this new planet. And it looks like something out of Avatar. Not... Avatar The Last Airbender. You know, not that Avatar. Um... Wow, the butterfly. Blue. It's a yellow butterfly. But Avatar out of... Uh, you know, like the movie Avatar, where they was, where they took their consciousness and they put them in the Avatar bodies, the alien bodies that looked like the inhabitants of that planet. Okay, so the planet 
resembled that, okay? Um, resembled that, but I didn't see any other animals. So I, all the animals you saw on Avatar, I didn't see. But the plant life, okay, resembled that. The flora and stuff. So, all of a sudden, I remember being this cat-like human. It looked like, it. what it reminded me of was a Thundercat. If you know, depends on how old you are watching this video, you know what I'm talking about, about Thundercats. It's a cartoon where these cats are like a humanoid cat. Okay, so it was a planet like that, and I'm telling you, like, it was so freeing. Like, they had made, and they were intelligent, because, you know, like, we have obstacle courses here. Well, they built obstacle courses there. So just to have fun. And that's all it was for. No competition. None of that. It's just to it's to grow your your abilities and your agility and grow your speed and to get stronger. But it's fun doing so because everybody's doing it and they're helping you and they're participating. And I'm like, wow, it's awesome, you know. And then there's just no worries of money, none of that. That place was happy. And all of a sudden, I jump over this fence they created. It was like a big big huge fence you could jump high like you can jump on houses like you can jump high as this freaking thundercat the uh, humanoid thing so I jump and I was I jumped over a gap and I jumped over I jumped over a fence and over a gap and I was about to land all I remember is that I was about to land on the other side of this gap or chasm even and all of a sudden, I hear, it's time for you to go. I was like, what? And then I said, I said, no. I said, no. I said, no. And then it just freaking took me, it took my spirit right out of the Thundercat body. Like, like right out of that, right out of that, that body of the Thundercat. And it took it out. Okay. And next thing I know... I'm not here yet again. I'm not born, but I'm back on Earth, and I'm a little boy, and I am with not the family I'm with now. Mm -mm. I'm a little black boy, and I'm with that family I saw two previous lives ago when I was the white girl with the green eyes, with the pale skin, with the black, with the black long hair, you know, <coughs> and. And then I, I remember sitting at a dinner table, uh, at like a restaurant table. No idea what restaurant. It, is, it resembled something like Applebee's or TGA Fridays and stuff like that, and Denny's. So I was sitting there, and I was like, "Damn." I said I didn't want to be reincarnated, and I got reincarnated anyway. You know, when I came out of the body, like, it's like, it's almost as like, even when you come out, you can't be free. It's weird. But, I wasn't a spiritual person then. I was saying that I didn't want to come back. So I didn't, I mean, I now, as I am now, what I'm trying to do, trying to lucid dream, trying to astral project, trying to get in touch with my actual spirit so that I don't have to go through that no more. I'm, I'm bringing more awareness to my brain and my knowledge and gaining more knowledge, gaining more knowledge as much as I can so that doesn't happen again. I, I didn't even... Realize that that happened to me. Now, <clears throat> that's a dream I had of two past lives. So, there y'all guys go. I want to thank y'all for watching.